This video is about wearing elastics or rubber bands. When you get your elastics, make sure to pay attention to what the bag looks like. Is it green? Is it blue? Latex or non-latex? When you need more rubber bands, you'll be able to quickly and easily get a pack from any of our staff if you remember what kind of rubber bands you're wearing. Rubber bands are a very important part of treatment. In your rubber band bag, you'll find both rubber bands and a clip that helps to put the rubber bands on. Now let's go over some commonly worn elastics. One of the most common elastics that are worn in the office are class two elastics. Class two elastics attach from the lower molar to the upper canine. Again, that's the lower molar to the upper canine. As you get more comfortable with your elastics, you'll probably put them on with your fingers and will no longer need the tool for placement. Another very common type of rubber band worn in our office is a class three elastic. This is typically for cases that have an underbite. Class three elastics are worn from the lower canine to the upper molar. Again, the lower canine to the upper molar. Finally, another very common rubber band that is worn is the triangular elastic. It stretches from the lower premolar to the upper canine to the lower canine. Again, lower premolar, upper canine, lower canine. Always remember that you should wear your elastics exactly as you are told. If we ask you to wear your rubber bands all the time, that means they're only taken out to brush your teeth or to change and put a fresh set in. You should change your rubber bands three to four times a day, always before you go to sleep at night, put a fresh pair in, and after you eat. Thank you for watching this video.